am here with my sister Emily. Hello. And we are making candles today. I actually have no idea how to make candles. I didn't research or anything. I basically went to my sister and said, hey, you make candles. You do the candle thing. And yeah. she's like, yes, I do the candle thing. I did the candle thing a little while ago. Yeah. And I was like, that'd be cool for a video. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do this. And we're going to get a little bit of help from Emily because she's my candle specialist. I'm not specialist. I, I can make them. I can try. She can try. So how do we do it? Just a little rough explanation. Roughly, oh, what you need is three, ba four basic things. Candle wax, fragrance, color, wicks. And obviously, something to put the candle in. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get into that. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Sounds good. So we started off with a few different waxes that we were going to make our candles out of. Now we actually mostly used a natural wax. However, we had to add a little bit of paraffin to uh, one of the batches because with that batch, we were going to be using the candle molds that I had and I wanted them to not melt into a puddle. So my sister recommended we used that. Now to melt the wax down, we actually used this uh, sort of double boiling method where you have a small saucepan uh, boiling water and then you sit a Pyrex mixing jug onto the top of the water and yeah, it basically heats up the wax that way. Now eventually we did end up having to use a bigger pot and a bigger sort of container for the wax because we ended up making a lot of candles and yeah it was actually really fun so for the freestanding candles I actually bought two uh, silicon molds for this one of them was a bit of a diamond shape and the other was a bit of a, a, a sphere and for those we actually had to sort of uh, tape off the end and stick a wick through and then after this we added our scents and colors to the wax mix it all through and poured it in now the dyes that we are using to color our candles are actually really cool. Um, it's basically like a small block of wax with very, very, very pigmented dye in it. And you just sort of grate that into like small pieces which you can mix into your liquid uh, wax. And basically that small amount is enough to dye a whole candle and it works out really, really cool. Now for the first candle, this little diamond shape, I wanted to make an almost like a like a galaxy swirly pattern as we mentioned earlier. And yeah, we, we basically just mixed up a few different colors and it's funny because the wax sort of started to go hard really quickly because it was actually really cold in the room. So we had to like microwave it to keep it hot. And then yeah, we basically just poured it in together to sort of let the colors swirl and mix naturally. And yeah, and I think it turned out pretty good. We did make a fair mess though, especially all that wax all over the table, but that was easy to remove with a card. So we had a little dabble with that candle and I honestly am very excited about how it's going to turn out. Uh, we decided we wanted to try and do a bit of a galaxy theme. Uh, what colors did we use for that? We used a purple, a very, very light blue and a bit of a magenta. But um, with the magenta, we didn't mix it fully in. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. it will give like kind of like a, like an ink blotty kind of like like shooting starry red thing through a little through like a very pale pink and so what have we got planned for the next whole bunch of candles Emily? alrighty so I think these two here are gonna be our next ones for this one here because it is a little Hershey's kiss shape we're gonna make it chocolate scented oh yeah we have a scent by the way yeah you won't be able to smell that but they smell great YouTube should make smell of vision do you yeah. reckon? Yeah. Handy. So what's that one? Is a pineapple. So the pineapple, I was thinking we could do like... Do you have a pineapple scent? No. So 
today. We, I've got like tropical scents, so we can do that. Tropical. There you yeah, go. Pineapple. Like a bird is a paradise or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking with this one because pineapple is yellow. We'll use yellow, and then because um, it's like kind of this like crystally looking thing thing. We have this um just over there. We have glitter. So yeah, so this is a mica glitter, and if you pop this into a candle, what will happen when you're burning the candle? Um, it will swell in the um the melted wax, and it will give like this really cool kind of like effect. And it's really nice. Cool, cool. Uh, what are these? So this is our dump bucket candles. Um, every candle we make. We're gonna have a little bit of wax left over, so I thought it would be a really good idea to get that leftover wax and just make a big candle out of it. Well, and it's not, you know, it could like end up being like a multicolored cool candle. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. And we have two of them. Yeah, one for you, one for me. And the idea of that is as well, as the longer that you burn the candle, the more that it's gonna change and evolve in, in, in its scent. Um, so as you burn the candle down, it will melt the next layer of wax and then that, the scent that comes out of the candle will evolve. Um, I'm thinking like an ink blot kind of like... Like a watercolory pattern? Yeah, like a watercolor. Yeah. And then for this one? This one we're gonna do a tilt pour. So we're gonna have it sitting like this and then we're gonna pour. And then we're gonna let that solidify and then we're gonna rotate the candle and then pour again. And then we're gonna set it up and then pour it again. So it's so, like a herringbone. Yeah, so it's got a herringbone on in it. That's gonna be really cool and I'm really, really excited. So let's just get dive right into it and we're gonna have a little fun, make lots of candles. So epic montage time. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> let's go. So this next candle here, I actually wanted to try and make a Jupiter with the sphere. I knew going into this that this would be a very sort of, you know, difficult. Uh, candles don't always turn out the way you want and you don't always have a whole lot of control. But we basically just mixed a few different colors, a yellow, a brown and, and an orangey color. And then I just sort of layered in the colors that Jupiter was, trying to make sure I got those dark bands that Jupiter has, as well as adding a little extra sort of circle on the side which we uh, we just sort of put on some parchment paper and then like cut it out and like stuck it on and I wanted to see if I could make Jupiter's spot and then yeah after that we just filled it up with a few more layers and yeah I actually put a uh, salted caramel scent into this candle because well I was making this for my boyfriend and he really loves salted caramel and the color of Jupiter would just be perfect for salted caramel. So yeah, it's really funny because that uh, wax was uh, basically colored like caramel and it smelled like caramel and it, the texture was almost like caramel. I was like, I want to eat this, but I shouldn't eat it because it's candle wax and it could probably make you sick. Now the next candle we were making, I wanted to do a little bit of a gradient so we added a little bit of white at the bottom and then add a little bit of dye to it and then pour another layer and then basically just keep adding more dye and uh, pouring more layers until we get to the top. And this actually turned out really cool. We used a burgundy dye for this one and it turned out really, really cute. I just had to tie a bow around it. The next candle, as my sister mentioned, it was a sort of like a tilt pour where you basically tilt it to one side and then pour in the wax and then tilt it again. And yeah, it was really fun to do and I really, really do like the results. Now is the time to demold some of these candles because they have gone hard because it was very, very cold in that room. And yeah, I really do like the results. The Jupiter, it's kind of, I don't know, it didn't turn out exactly how I had hoped, but this is a candle, so you can't really control how it does uh, end up. And to be honest, it looks and smells delicious. So this next one we made is probably one of my favorites. We added a lot of the teal dye to it and we used this sort of like textured jar and I really love the results of this one because we added glitter to it and it just looks so sparkly and the color is really really nice and we added a sort of ocean mist uh, scent to it so I'm really happy with that one. 
So for this next candle here, we actually used this large dish that my sister had and we added like five different wicks to it. And then we added some glitter and a really nice sort of lavender color. And this one turned out to be one of my favorites as well, mainly because when it dried, it got this really sort of pretty texture on top. Here are all of the final results and to be honest we made so many candles. What do you think of the experience? It was very long and my kitchen exploded. Exploded with beautiful smells? A mess. So which candle is your favourite? Uh, my favourite would be either the big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Or one of the diamonds or this guy here. I love that one. That one's probably my favorite. Yeah. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. You made it. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Jazza made it. <laughs> I um, I really like the Jupiter. It kind of turned out more like ice cream. So it's Jupiter as if it was ice cream, but as a candle. But it's also caramel scented. This one was supposed to be a poke ball, but it kind of went a little bit mushroom shaped. So yeah, it's all right. What do you reckon? Yeah, I, I actually like the way that that one turned out. It turned out real cute. It just needs eyes, I think. Anything's cute with a face. Yes. So the candles were setting up really, really fast. And that's what gives these kind of like little holes in there. Like they're easy to fix with a heat gun, but I don't have a heat gun. Hair dry. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know below which one of these is your favorite. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future and we will see you, well I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Scribble fix. Get your scribble fix. <laughs> You're such a fat nerd. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe look at this one. Yeah, I don't know what's up with you too, dickhead.